With eight seasons under its tool belt when all was said and done, Home Improvement had a good run, thanks in large part to the chemistry between its two leads. But we almost got a different Jill Taylor. Home Improvement was one of the most popular comedy shows of the 90s. The series centered around the character Tim Allen's Tim the Tool Man Taylor and his family. It was a staple on ABC and ran from 1991 to 1999 on the network. Tim's role as a husband and father was at the heart of the show. However, it also took a deep dive into his career as the host of a Home Improvement television series in Michigan. He and his trusty assistant, Al Borland, demonstrated DIY projects for their viewers, with Tim always finding a way to hurt himself or mess things up. Of course, this left Al to clean up the mess. At home, there was much of the same. Tim's wife, Jill Taylor, played by Patricia Richardson, ran their household and often had to steer Tim in the right direction when it came to parenting their three sons, Brad, Randy, and Mark. While Jill was a beloved character who held her own against Tim's larger-than-life personality, fans almost saw a very different dynamic between the on-screen husband and wife. Patricia Richardson and Tim Allen shared some awesome chemistry during their eight seasons as Jill and Tim on Home Improvement. However, Richardson wasn't the first choice to play the role. Instead, actress Frances Fisher was initially cast as Jill. Fisher is often remembered for her roles in Guiding Light and Titanic. Even though she has an extensive filmography, it seems that she just wasn't right to star opposite Alan. Richard Karn, the actor who played Al Borland, told Australia's News.com, Frances is a great actress, but in this role with Tim, she came off more as a victim to him than his equal. With that said, it seems that Richardson fit the bill perfectly. Karn added, after the first read-through, it was a very different thing going on with the same words. Pat was way more of an equal to Tim. The opportunity to star in the series came at a challenging time for Richardson, as she had just given birth. She told HuffPost, I had never heard of Tim and I didn't know anything about it. And they sent me a tape of Tim. And I said, look, I'm nursing twins. You have to wait for me for 40 minutes while I'm doing that. And they said, oh yeah, we'll do anything. Of course, it all worked out for Richardson. Home Improvement went on to become a huge hit, and it landed the actress four Emmy nominations for her work. Despite the show's success, Richardson was ready to leave after the eighth season. In a biography feature, she cited Jonathan Taylor Thomas's departure from the show and a lack of fresh material as her reasons for exiting. On a more personal level, she wanted to spend more time with her family. Following Richardson's decision to leave, Home Improvement producers and Tim Allen tried to convince the actress to stay, but to no avail. She revealed to Entertainment Tonight. They said, let's do it with dead Jill. And then Tim was like, I, I don't think we can do that. So then he went out and said, oh, I think it's time to end Home Improvement. Like the original casting of Frances Fisher as Jill, ending the series by killing off the Taylor family matriarch would have certainly changed the tone of the entire series. Richardson's decision not only led to ABC canceling Home Improvement, but she believed it may have affected her relationship with Alan as well. Although the pair joined forces again for his later sitcom, The Last Man Standing, the actress told Entertainment Tonight that she was worried Alan may have resented her for her unwillingness to continue playing Jill. Ultimately, the show solidified its place in the American pop culture canon with only eight seasons, suggesting that perhaps Richardson was right to call it quits. 